Here, in the peaceful Midwestern town of Galesburg, nothing much ever happens. Morning, Mr. McNally. The kids go to an ordinary college. However, this is an ordinary professor. He's dead. And they help science with a few harmless experiments. Two sessions, two days, a hundred bucks a day. You always welcome the chance for new blood. <laughs> he killed little rabbits back there. I tell you, it was different parts of different bodies in different rooms. One nurse, you couldn't find all the parts. Had to make up kind of a composite of bits and pieces missing from all the other bodies. John, do you want me to call Donovan? Do you want me to call the state police? Do you want me to call anybody? Pete, stop the car. Just pull over. I'm going to find out who did this, I swear to God. With this little pill, the world will be yours for the next few days. I feel a little high. Am I supposed to feel a little high? She's dead. And he's dead. And the dead don't come back and take revenge. Oh, it's... Where's Mr. Brady? Get him. They dyed his hair, then they scraped it off. They fed him till he couldn't move, and they starved him. They cut him open twice, once to take out a pancreas, once to take out a lung. They even refrigerated him once. Would you like to order now? I, I'll have the liver, please. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like, I'd like to know a little more about what's going on before you start. This is a very, very exciting experiment. What did they do to you up there? What are those needles for? What are you sticking me with? She said it was like she was drowning. We invite you to come with us on a terrifying experiment. Help! Somebody! Help! It started all over again. An experiment with dead kids. But very strange looking people at this party. I'm not wearing any underwear. <laughs> Dead kids. They'll scare the living daylights out of you. Fiona Lewis, Michael Murphy, Louise Fletcher, and Dan Shore. <laughs>